This workflow video will show you how to create advanced 3D paths which can be very useful in planning lo site logistic movements in Synchro before it actually happens on site. As you can see in this Synchro model, we've got silos being stored coming off the back of a low loader onto the steel framework. For advanced 3D paths such as this one, a 3D path can be, can be created by editing the path movement rather than creating a linear line path. So if we go to 3D path in the navigator, if we create a 3D path and name it line silos, then we go to the task, assign the line silos to that task, then assign the 3D path that we've just created to line silos for. Now if we go to 3D path editor and make sure your 3D path is selected and your 3D object is selected and once that is we press capture keyframe. Now we should have our first keyframe and our end keyframe. Now we have these keyframes, it will allow us to edit these keyframes. So for the first keyframe, we want to show the slime silos being on the low loader. So we now need to use this manipulator tool to get it in its desired position. Once we forgot its position, we press capture keyframe and now that's our first position saved. Now the end keyframe, we won't need to change this because it's already in its end position. Now reviewing the movement between the first position and the last position, we can see that the silo is coming through the steel work. So we need to add another keyframe there. And now we have a perfect movement from the low loader onto the top of the steel framework. If we just review that movement now. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.